57. That's 166. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I've been trying to build up my speed recently. And after we saw Phil Mickelson, he's increased his ball speed unbelievably. His, his driver's speed unbelievably, too, both. And uh, he's been using these, the, um, the speed sticks. I use the thing called the Golf Stick Pro which I think, uh, you know, it's, it's really super similar. Like, it follows the theory of 10% light, 10% heavy, and then right on target. Because I was thinking about what Phil said in this video. One of the area, eight areas that TPI identified to pick up distance and as a power source is to feel that front leg push up and back. And you can watch Bubba Watson as his foot comes off the ground and comes up and back through impact. That's what I try to do to get my speed up. So I'm gonna feel like I'm really pushing hard with this front leg to try to pick up speed. Let's see if I can do it. I'm trying to target 120 mile an hour club head speed. That's just nasty there, nasty. So we got 122 club head speed, 180.9 ball speed, 321 carry, 340, totally cool with that. You too can be hitting bombs. So what Phil was saying in that video was really that, that kind of uh, like pressuring away. So I'm gonna try to see if that does anything for me. I was used, doing some stuff where I was, I had heard some stuff where the more you pressure this front leg, then the more you will let yourself swing hard through. So it feels faster. I'm gonna put like a thousand pounds into the ground and then swing. <sighs> but I'm gonna see if it actually is faster. Okay, so I have the swing radar thing here because I wanted to see how fast I could swing it. I also wanted to see if putting some of a stomp like Mickelson was talking about, uh, pressing the ground and then coming off of it would put a little whip into it. 130. 130. 26. I'm going to try to rebound off of it a little bit. 127. 130. So it looks like 130 is my is the max I got right now with this. And all those I really I was kind of stomping. So this time I'm going to be kind of light on my foot and see if it makes a difference. 128, 140, 135, 145. See, I'm slower stomping and swinging. And it's very interesting. I got up to 140 and I was feeling like I was staying more on my right side. Leaving it here more as I was making this transition. Huh. It's an unexpected result. So that was 140 was my top. So for the final one, I'm gonna see if I can get good transition. And kind of like Phil was saying, right here, that's when I'm gonna boost away. Alaska said something like that too. One twenty-three. One twenty-nine. One twenty-eight. One twenty-five. Yeah, it still seems to be like any time I think anything about my lower body, it just slows the system down completely. All right, now I'm just going for max out speed. 100% as fast as I can. Balls to the wall, as fast as I possibly can. 
couple swings, trying to break 140 here. One thirty two. One thirty three. One forty six. That when I squatted and jumped up. Wow. I thought, let me get lower and then. Wow. One forty six. Jeez. One forty two. Yeah, so I really don't think it's so much about squat, like hitting it hard here. I think it's more about staying level, getting so that you can use some of this through impact. Okay, so to get a little insight on why this swing in particular and this little move right there to there was so much faster, I followed Phil Mickelson's advice and went on the TPI website. So they made a video about what Phil was talking about. And it's a long video, but this was the, really the nugget in the video from Dr. Greg Rose that I thought explained what I was feeling in that swing. This is a composite average of our PGA Tour players. And this graph right here you're looking at is actually if they swallowed a sensor and the sensor went right in the middle of their waist. Imagine it's like you've got your belt and I put a sensor right in the middle of your belt. This is measuring up and down of a PGA Tour player. You can see this is the backswing, this is the downswing. On the backswing, that sensor drops down. Most players drop around an inch down. The biggest players will drop two to three inches down. So this, this player here is dropping 1.8 inches down and then you can see here's the downswing. From here to here, this player is going to lift. That's that sensor driving up in the air, and it goes from almost two inches down to almost two inches up. It's almost a four inch vertical jump, right through impact. So what that's doing is creating that incredible ground reaction force, helping shallow out or raise the handle, shallow out the driver, create that positive attack angle. All of those are gonna turn into incredible speed. So one of the keys to hitting the ball far is that vertical jump. Get your jump on and you're gonna hit the ball a lot farther. Great video from TPI. Go subscribe to their YouTube channels. Have some really cool stuff on there. So for me, as we saw in my little test, jumping actually slowed me down, me concentrating on jumping. The thing that sped me up and was the big difference between the slower ones and the ones that then started to get into the 140s was see this that red zone there that starts right in, in as the club's starting to go down see the level is going down there. That little squat and transition and that feeling of going down two inches and then up was the real big difference for me. All right, so I hit 146 was my highest and I had a 140 and a 142 as well. See how fast I can go like this, just on one leg. 130. 129. Now really I should be doing this lefty as well. I do a lefty swing, see how fast I can go. 125. 128. 124. Alright, those were my results with the Golf Stick Pro. David, who uh, is the uh, golf trainer, teaches guys on the PGA Tour and stuff. I'm at his place. And he uh, let me borrow this. He wants to see how fast I can swing this. This is supposed to be the same as a driver, but maybe because of aerodynamics or other stuff, you can swing it uh, a little faster than driver. So I'm going to see what I can do with this. 131. 127. Slow. 129. It's all part of this project that I'm gonna be doing with this, with the Golf Stick Pro, trying to build up my swing speed. Well, really my ball speed. Project 170. I want 170 miles an hour ball speed at some point this summer. I definitely wanna be like living somewhere in the low 160s by May, by sometime in May. All right, so you heard me say 
by May, which is like two months from now, mid-May anyway, it's like two months from now, I was hoping to be in the low 160s. Well, I used the Golf Stick Pro all week during my lunch, during work, and I worked on that move as well, staying on the right leg longer and lowering in transition, lowering the hips in transition. After that, you do kind of jump a little bit through impact, but it's, if you think about doing it, it slows me down. If you make your transition and lower during that and then swing through, you're just naturally gonna jump. So this is not two months later. This is just a week later on the GC quad. Let's see what I got. One sixty three ish. Let's see. Yeah, one sixty three. Backspin wasn't that bad. Twenty seven hundred about. Straight as an arrow. One sixty four in the ball speed. My average is much better. It's still 294, yeah, that's better. Ball speed 170 is what I'm looking for eventually. That's 166, so that's really good. Yeah, that was crazy to me because I thought this was gonna be a months and months long process to get my ball speed into the mid 160s and then months after that, I would eventually maybe get to the 170s because I've been stuck at 158 159 sometimes 160 with a real ball um for a long time for months so i thought that it was going to continue to be a really long process but this has been a really great jump in ball speed Ooh, all right that's some food for thought definitely i thought that stomp and this were like i had heard somewhere that the more you pressure this left leg into the ground the faster it goes i didn't that actually made me slower Really what made me faster was keeping my level and kind of staying on the right side a little bit longer in transition and just just ex naturally exploding through the ball. You know, the, the arms have got to be moving fast to get this thing moving fast. So it's here, here, boom, boom. And thinking makes you slow, so just do it. 139. 136. 129. Yeah, so you can see like those speeds are real similar. I think I was a little fresher when I was using the Golf Stick Pro, but those speeds are real similar to the light side of the Golf Stick Pro. It's the same thing. In my opinion, just way safer. If you guys are interested in getting the Golf Stick Pro, it's like a third the price of these and a lot safer too, I think. Um, we're gonna do a, a Be Better Golf spring training special to get Be Better Golfers a whole lot faster. We're gonna do $15 off the Golf Stick Pro and free shipping to anywhere in America. Thanks for watching, guys, bye.